There's some research that suggests, get this, marijuana might hold the key to keeping our brains forever young. Now, most of the national debate concerning marijuana has been keeping it out of the hands of our children. And for good reason. A teenager's brain has a lot of developing to do as it transforms from the brain of a child into the brain of an adult. A growing number of studies, including one from Duke University, revealed regular marijuana use for teenagers, once a week or more, actually changes the structure of the teenage brain, specifically in areas dealing with memory and problem solving. But guess what? This report, not about the teenage brain, it's about the less explored elderly brain and whether or not marijuana holds the key to keeping the aging brain, the older brain, young. A coalition of researchers from Germany and Israel published a study in Nature Medicine that examined the different effects of THC on young and old mice. Yes, we're talking mice, and the results, they were interesting. A low dose of THC, they reported, reversed the age-related decline in cognitive performance of mice aged 12 and 18 months. Even more, according to the study, the expression profiles of THC-treated mice aged 12 months closely resembled those of THC-free animals aged two months, as if the older mice's brains were actually getting younger. Now, the experiment focused on learning, spatial skills, and memory. While older mice typically did not perform well or perform as well as the younger ones in mazes or with location recognition tasks, an outcome consistent with, you know, a decline in brain function as one ages, older mice, they performed just as well as their younger counterparts when under the influence of THC. Meanwhile, younger mice, given doses of THC, saw worse performance, more in line with that of an average non-THC old mice. So does this mean marijuana is good for the old and bad for the young? Who knows? I'm not a doctor or scientist and testing still underway and there's still a lot we don't know about THC. The prohibition of marijuana at the federal level does create a bit of an obstacle to these studies and what's good for a mouse isn't necessarily good for grandma and grandpa. But as more of these barriers continue to fall, perhaps we may begin to discover even more benefits of medical marijuana that many still can't imagine. For Modern Wall Street, I'm James Sweeney.